So this is a device that I've had for a little over a year. Um, and it's marketed under the name OBD key, where OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics. So if you've worked on cars or anything, you can already tell what this might be used for. Um, this connector will connect to the onboard uh, diagnostic connector on your car. And in the United States, that's going to be, I think, in every car manufactured since 1996. Um, and for the particular one that I have, this one, you can see there's no other connector on it because this one is using Bluetooth. Um, this is also available in a form that's uh, using Wi-Fi and then there's another one that is using USB. I wanted the Bluetooth because I felt that this is the most flexible one that's available. Uh, with the Bluetooth one, there's a number of mobile devices that it can connect to, including Windows mobile phones. Um, and in addition to that, it can connect to uh, a desktop computer and some other things. So, the car I happen to be in. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it on. I'll actually go ahead and start it. And you can see that the check engine light is on on a car. Um, so I'm going to use the O. I'm going to use this OBD key to figure out what that is all about. And the phone I'll be using is a T-Mobile Touch Pro 2. And I've already got the software installed on here. Um, so I'm going to stop the video for a second so that I can get this uh, connected to my car. So I'm now in my garage, so you should be able to see this a little bit more clearly. I'll try and hold the camera steady. Um, I've already taken care of the Bluetooth pairing um, between this hardware and my phone. So it's just asking me to confirm the device that I'm connecting to. So I was trying to speak with COM2. And that's it, now speaking with my engine. So you can see it's uh, giving me a number of um, stats on, on my car, like it shows that the throttle position is in position 9 and the current uh, engine RPMs are somewhere around 660. Now if I go ahead and step on the gas, you can see that the throttle position has changed from 9 to 11, Oops. and the RPMs are, have gone up to 1000. Um, now. This application seems to have been written some time ago. Uh, it looks like it will work on Windows Mobile 5 and later. So I've noticed that when I'm running it on a Touch Pro 2, there's a few anomalies. One of the things that you may not be able to see clearly is down here, there's a number one inside of a white block. What you can't see is that there's also the numbers two, three, and four. And if I were to select one of those, then it will actually take me to the next page of data. Okay, and so there's page three and Get to page four. And just to let you know the statistics that this is tracking, since you probably cannot read this uh, on a camera, uh, here on page four is giving me fuel system ABS reading. Let me switch back to three. And three, I see the air temperature, um, let's see, coolant temperature, oxygen sensor one voltage, and oxygen sensor two voltage. Back to page two. Two, I see the ignition timing, the intake air pressure, um, short-term fuel trim, and long-term fuel trim, and back to page one. I see the throttle position, the engine RPMs, the vehicle speed, which is zero, of course, since I'm not driving, and the calculated load value percent. Um, now, when I first started this video, I had pointed out that the check engine light was on. So I'm going to go ahead and use this in order to figure out what that's all about. So if I open up the menu, the um, menu option I'm interested in is Diagnostic Trouble Code. Now, as with any OBD connector, in order to read the trouble code, the engine actually needs to turn, be turned off, so turn my car off, but the switch needs to be in the on position. So now I can select the Diagnostic Trouble Codes. And right now there's uh, one code for it to read, and you can see at the bottom is saying that the catalytic system efficiency uh, below threshold, bank one. So in this case, this car needs a new catalytic um, converter. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this was something that seems to have been written some time ago. So it looks like they actually wrote it for QVGA screens. Whenever I run this on this uh, WVGA screen, I notice that this little icon for an engine always shows out of place and um, right over this clear button. But that's a bit of a minor annoyance. But I'm going to go ahead and clear out this engine code. So if I press clear, uh, it's telling me to, okay, it's asking me to confirm. Turn off the uh, engine and erase all diagnostic data. Uh, please shut off the engine, but leave the ignition on before proceeding. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I select, okay. 
and you can see that the uh, check engine light has turned off. Um, now one of the other things that's nice about this is if I go to the uh, website um, oh and now it's telling me there's no engine code so I can actually exit from the screen. If you go to the website for this which is obdkey.com uh, uh, one of the things that they seem to have is if you're a software developer it looks like you can shoot them an email in order to get an SDK for this and I have not done that yet uh, but I plan to go ahead and do that just to see um, what type of interfaces that I can make for this.